Guys, how are we doing? Um, I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd just do something um, a little different this week, change it up a little bit, and um, do just a, a very quick vid uh, transitioning from eight bit to sixteen bit. So, um, I picked my very first Mega Drive up at the age of forty. <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys, a lot of the people um, that watch these vids, and a lot of the friends that I've made on social media over the last. A uh, few years are all Sega mad, Mega Drive mad, um, you know, etc. Unfortunately, um, when we were kids, we we had the Master System for years, and it was only probably, I want to say, ninety four, maybe ninety three, ninety four, when we picked up a Super Nintendo. Um, my little brother got to choose because I had had the Master System, and he picked the SNES. And uh, no regrets; it it was a fantastic system. And I have a lot of nostalgia for the Super Nintendo. But this video is about the Mega Drive. And not last year, but the year before, that, I don't know, 18 months ago, something like that, I picked up my very first Mega Drive. Here it is. So it's a bit beaten up. Um, I picked this up as not working on eBay for seven quid. Um, all I did. Um, there's a guy on Twitter that helps me with some techie bits and pieces or if I need some advice with soldering and he had suggested getting some isopropyl which I keep um, and just trying to clean out the um, clean out the cartridge uh, slot which I did and it booted up straight away worked straight away that was all I needed to do I have done a little bit of soldering because somebody had tried to open it up before I bought it and the red light didn't work. So um, I've soldered the light back on. I think you've got to be careful when you open these up. And if you just pull it, um, the wires will just snap because the, the wires are on the PCB on the bottom part. And of course the, the, the LED is on the top part. So if you just op op undo the screws and open it, it will just break. And that's unfortunately what somebody had done. So I fixed it up a little bit. There's a few cracks, a few scratches. For seven quid, it does the job, and I'm happy with it, you know. So yeah, um, first Mega Drive, picked up the age of 40. So with that, and I don't have many games, um, and this is kind of what this video is about. So what I want, for anybody that would like to, I would like a video response for uh, recommendations, basically, um, for what you guys enjoyed back in the day, a top five maybe, but basically, yeah, I, I want recommendations for what games you think I should buy. I'm not going to be trying to full set the Mega Drive collection or anything like that. For that, you need to go and have a look at uh, Retro Gamer Boy or something. And, and his videos are brilliant, by the way. But I do want to show you guys some of the games that I do have. Um, just so you can see what I've already got. Some of them I've not even tried yet. So I've got Dynamite Heady. And Micro Machines 2. And I've also got um, Castle of Illusion and st Streets, yeah, Streets of Rage 2. Now I've got these four um, from a mate, Andy. I think he got them in China. So they are just the cartridges and they feel quite light. Um, I've not even I've not even had time to play them yet, so straight after this video. I am going to throw the Mega Drive on and have uh, a little res and you know see what's what. Because I've not even played these games um, previously. If I was lucky, at the age of 11 maybe, I'd go round the friend's house and get to see him watch them. You know, uh, get to see him play them, sorry. So yeah, th I've got those four. I've also picked up, just cheap on eBay, um, Shadow of the Beast and Altered Beast. Um, and have a little bit of nostalgia for these two, which is why I picked them up. Again, not that I got to play them, but I did used to go around a lad's house, Stuart, um, and just watch him play. And I really enjoyed um, doing so. Occasionally, I'd get a little go myself, you know. Um, and then lastly, just through um, like eBay or um, cash converters in the town I live for like 99p, I picked up. Uh, FIFA 95, I think that was a pound, or might have been 199 actually. Um, 
I've got gold and axe, that's probably the most I've spent um, up to until today, and we'll come on to that in a moment. So I've got that uh, completing box, just obviously because it's golden axe. <laughs> I've got a thing for golden axe, what can I say? Um, I've got Alien 3, which I picked up in um, the retro uh, mail order. Uh, it's like a, a mystery box thing, but they stopped doing them in lockdown one or lockdown two because just ran out of stock unfortunately both me and andy did that uh, actually but um so i got that from them but they just ran out of games which is a real shame really i think they still do um vinyl if anyone's interested um i got a copy of sonic the hedgehog i think i got that from them as well um pj tour golf i think it says on there 99p from yeah 99p from cash converters complete in box um, World Cup 94, again 99p from Cash Converters, got it about a year ago, can't grumble, I wasn't going to leave it there for 99 pence. And then lastly, I picked this up last week, I was chatting with my mate Kev, I was around his gaff, um, and I can't remember how we got talking about it, he, he just asked the question, oh did you have a, ever have the Mega Drive? And I was like, no, <laughs> you know we got taught and the subject sort of changed, you know, because unfortunately I didn't. You know, um, but we got talking about it and there was a game that, again, I used to go around Stu's house as a kid 30 odd years ago and watch him play. And I remember he bought this new game and it was called Elysia Dragoon. And I just absolutely love the box art. I've just picked this up for 20 quid. Um, there's no manual, unfortunately, but for 20 quid, I just if even if I didn't play it and I got to just look at the box, that would be enough. Um so yeah, I thought, you know, 20 quid, why not? Anyway, guys, that's kind of the Mega Drive collection, really. So quite slim, quite meagre. What I'd like for you guys to do, if you would, um, basically is put together a bit of a, uh, a video response for me uh, with some recommendations of what I should buy. Um, I can't even begin to imagine some of the cost of some of the games. I know things like Alien Soldier and stuff like that. It's quite expensive, um, so I'm not going to be throwing big money at it, um, especially as I've still got the Master System collection uh, to finish off. But if there are any good ones out there uh, that you recommend, in particular, I'm a sucker for really nice Sega box art, as you're probably well aware. So if there's anything that's a nice bit of art and it's you know reasonably priced, then yeah, throw a throw a VR at me and let me know, or let me know in the comments below. That'd be awesome. Anyway, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you later.